Welcome Aquarius to your May Astrodice reading. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Okay, and I have the three dice. Sorry if you hear anyone in the background. Everybody's home. It is Sunday. And happy Mother's Day to everybody. Okay, and so we have the planets and we have the, the zodiac signs and we have the uh, houses. Okay, so let's roll this to see what we got going on here. This is where we're going to take the astrology and turn it into a horoscope with the tarot cards. So a little fun. Here we go. We have the moon. We have Taurus. And we have number one. And my son's kettle is going to whistle. I can feel it any second. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> just give me one second and I think I'm going to turn that off. Before it blows everybody. Okay, so, sorry about that. Okay, so, getting on to this, we have these new astrology reading cards. Like I said last time, I was going to get something exciting to add to this, and that's what I've got. So we don't have to read from the tiny little book. Okay, and so we have the moon. And the moon says, what is it? your unconscious, sensitive, inner emotions and responses. Okay, and you have Taurus. So, Taurus is, ooh, so it says, how the energy around you shows the abundance of nature. It is rich, earthy and productive. You relaxed and slow. Yet relaxed and slow. Here, yeah, you will be relaxed and slow. Sorry. <laughs> you will be relaxed. And slow. I'm Taurus, so believe me. If you're going to get in that energy, you are relaxed and slow. Okay, so. <clears throat> Alrighty, guys. Let's see what we got going on here. You have the first house. Sitting in the first house of what people see and the impressions you give and also how you see yourself. Okay, so. This is what we have here. We have the moon. So you're using that sensitive inner emotional side of yourself this month, showing that you're relaxed and you're slow and you're just kind of just being earthy and naturey, okay? And taking in the abundance that is coming towards you. And um, and it's going to be the way that people are going to see you and you're going to see yourself. So we'll have to see is this really what people see or how you're seeing yourself, right? So, but I do see an abundance coming in for you guys, and we are going through a retrograde, so you could be getting rewards um, from Venus retrograde itself, okay? So, looks like abundance is coming, okay? And this is because, ooh, your emotions are showing don't deceive yourself this month, okay? Don't deceive yourself, don't, um, uh, well, let's just see exactly how that's doing because you need to have a new realization of the way that you're doing things with taking a new action towards something that you haven't done in the past. So you're having this new way of, of doing things. And this might be because you were, maybe you were dealing with somebody who was deceiving you. Hold on one second. Oh, there we go. Maybe you were dealing with somebody who was deceiving you in the past. And so you're kind of moving past that and you're realizing that um, this is the way you want it to be. And um yeah you have abundance coming in so some of you may have an inheritance coming in as well because the ace of swords or wands excuse me is the inheritance card sitting underneath the taurus which could literally be an uh, inheritance um for a lot of you okay or just and if it's not an inheritance it's just a large amount of money coming towards you okay so um with the first house, yeah, you're just totally rested. And there's that resting again. So the impression that people are seeing about you is just kind of you just kind of re resting, being relaxed. Um, and I think you see yourself as this as well. And there's that Torian right there. You're resting and being relaxed, kind of slow, moving. And you see yourself as this as well. And others see it as well. Okay, so... 
Um, but you are having the realizations. And with these um, sensitive emotions, I think that you're having these sensitive emotions because somebody was deceitful to you. And I think you're really, and you're growing past that. You've had the realizations and you're growing past this um, um, emotion that you had from the Five of Swords. Okay, so whoever was deceitful um, toward you wore a false mask. You're totally like over it. Right? With the Ace of Swords sitting under it, you're so over it. Okay? It's just, it's done for you. You just, you've gotten this, the strength and the force from it, and you're just, you're done. Right? You've triumphed over this, and you feel like you've triumphed over those people as well, or that person. Okay? So, and this is why you're just kind of cool, relaxed, and you just feel totally abundant now that you're away from um, that energy. Okay? Yeah, because of the Eight of Cups. And then over here, there's that. <laughs> you guys are having money coming in. Okay, you have an abundance. And um, if it's not abundance of money, then it is an abundance of love. Um, abundance of something. Health, money, love, something. Okay, because you have your promises and your abundances coming in for you. So you're just resting and relaxing and so self-assured um, while just chilling. Right? Just totally chilling. And over here with the Eight of Cups, it's like this month you're just telling yourself, you're going to tell yourself, yeah, um, you know, I'm just, you know, doing, kind of like doing myself, right? I'm not really worried about anybody else at this time, um, you know, with the Taurus over here, just kind of doing yourself. You're productive in the ways you want to be productive and, you know, you're just completely happy. With the Eight of Cups. Like I said, you're just productive the way you want to be productive. And you don't have anybody else kind of like around you to make you feel unhappy. And, you know, it's just going to be a very happy month for you. Because you just feel relaxed and cool. You know you have money and abundance coming your way. And you just realize, yeah, I got out of this trash over here. And I feel so much better in my emotions. Or my emotional state with the Five of Swords is also... And just, you know, pretty much just, like I said, you're just kind of chilling, you guys. You know, you don't have to put up with that anymore. You're so out of that energy. You don't have to feel like anybody's tricking you. You have total understanding of what's going on. You understand that you deserve the advancements that, you're, that are going on for you. Okay, and you're just feeling, you know, just totally relaxed. <laughs> It's just really see, I just really see you being happy and totally relaxed. Nothing too, it's not really exciting, but I, you know, um, but for you it is because it's all you really wanted was just to be chill and relax and happy and just get the things that you, you know, deserve. Okay. Totally deserve. And people see you the same way. Okay. So let's just um, clarify on that really quick. Yep, like I said, getting away from that person or those people just totally have you completely happy as the sun. You just you're happy and content, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, four of cups. You don't you know you don't have to worry about that four of cups anymore. You don't have to worry about anything that they're doing to you. You don't have any more bitterness. You don't have any more unhappiness. You're completely happy. You've grown away from this with the Eight of Swords and you're, you know, and if you haven't done so yet, you will because the more you just, it keeps going, you're just going to be happier. So, and the bitterness is going to end up going away as well. Okay. <clears throat> and now you got the Ace of Coins again. So you got Ace of Coins on top of Ace of Coins. You're giving yourself your own happiness. Your own promises are coming in. You have money coming in for some of you and you have a lot of just abundance. Um, and here it is again, Four of Swords, once again, just resting and relaxing. No more fighting with anybody. No more having to worry about that over there. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. It was pretty self-explanatory. You guys are just really loving it up and just feeling very peaceful and um, free. I have this very free feeling uh, for you and which you need to feel free because you are a very free um, soul and that's the way you like to be. And that's, you know, you don't feel hunkered down by somebody. Um, and that's exactly how you like it. Okay. So beautiful reading for me. 
Okay, and I will see you guys next time. If you like that, please like and subscribe. Until then, take care, friends.